because rookie seven uh, is a threat, and Hikaru cannot Whoa. hold on for a single second. 96, Robert, and Rook takes E6. Well, Rook takes E6 does make sense. At first, I was like, what is that? But the point what is, is that? that you want to take on G6 next and go right after the Black King. I think the tricky part about this variation is Rook E6. Let me queen, put this on the board. Let's, let's analyze this. Set. Queen takes 6 and Bishop takes G6. It looks like the Black King just slides away. So where is Bishop F5 maybe That's first? Mm -hmm. And you spotted that well before me. But let's say I go Queen to D6. And Hans has found rookie six. Oh my goodness. Will he find the follow up? Because this looks, I mean, like black is about to hold, but there could be some Bishop F7 with Ooh. the PG7 mate coming and Knight F5 bringing more firepower into the action. This is just not easy to go forward. And let's go to the live game. Yes. If we can. And he's found both of these moves. I mean, Hans, when he is in the flow, he is such an incredible player. And Bishop F5, this is the double X clan move. The computer's wrong. Because if he had taken on G6 immediately, in this very position, the Black Queen would have been on E6 instead of on D6, and you wouldn't have had the ability to jump the knight into the attack with tempo. This is what Grandmaster level attacking chess boils down to, Robert. And he found Knight F5. Can he find the finishing touch? That cherry on top of the Shirley Temple. What is it? But How do you finish this? Rookie one? This is exactly where, when you see the engine, it can be misleading. Because it says plus five. It looks like white's winning. It's sky high. But then you have to find the knockout. Rookie one looks like a great move. Bring that last piece into it to the attack. As you're pointing out, 97, move the bishop away from g6. Get a knight to g6. But you start, start seeing ghosts sometimes in these positions. Like rook d7. You're covering the seventh rank. And he plays uh -oh. 97, and the engine doesn't like it. And queen e5, this is what Hans is so attracted by. But that bishop on a7, I pointed out a long time ago, it has lain dormant for so long. Is it time for it to join the defense? It does slice off the rook on a8. Maybe Hikaru can take on e7. That looks way too terrifying. It helps White's rook in it. He does play bishop b8. Uh -oh. oh, queen f6. Oh, that deserves oh a triple gosh. exclam. A queen sacrifice, a deflection, and a back rank mate. And it was important that he sliced off the rook. Wow. That was a sick game from Hans Niemann.